Hello friends, uh, this is Chalpesh here from Code with the JV channel. In this video, we are going to see how we can debug the uh, Golang with the, uh, my favorite editor, Visual Studio Code. Uh, rather, I would say our favorite editor. There are like a uh, few facts uh, that I wanted to know you. So basically, I have opened uh, the Golang survey of 2017, which has been uh, the result has been declared uh, before few days so here you can see like in 2016 like 14.9% of the people are liking uh, go sorry uh, VS code is a preferred goal and, and here you can see like in 2017 it's like uh, 27.13 so like lots of people are using vs code as a preferred uh, code language editor for calling uh, that is one thing and uh, why this video is most important because like if you go to the stack overflow survey here you can see like for web developers like it's more than like 38 percent of the majority community so it's uh, it's ruling the world uh, with its feature and today also we are going to see uh, what features are available so basically like uh, vs code is a well known in industry uh, with studio code so this is the extensions and here you can see like it has got lots of download and like more than uh, uh, one four six ratings as a five star so what we are going to see is like in this video we are going to see like what we can do with uh, this go extension and uh, how we can debug the go length with view studio code so let's directly jump into the code uh, code editor so i have created like a uh, predefined like hello.go uh, file and I have also got installed uh, Go extension. So here you can see like this is the extension which I already installed. So we'll go to uh, full uh, features of this particular extension including the proper intelligence. So let's directly jump into the program and here what I am going to write is like hello world and we are going to have like just hello world and we already included uh, the fmt so let me include uh, this fmt so here you can see this is the another feature like it will include the fmt by default if you know this and here you can see like uh, it's also showing me uh, the variable and uh, i am going to define another variable for number and I'm going to print it okay and like if you so this is our super cool program let me close this so you will get a better idea so that this is nothing uh, but a simple program and if I run this program by a command line so you can see uh, like it will print Oh, it's not picking okay yeah. need to do code in B. and now I need to run oh sorry I said didn't save it here you can see like it is printing like hello word and time so now let's debug this program so we'll get a better idea but you can see like it's providing me the full intelligence right so that is a great thing uh, about this extension and we'll get uh, like lots of information here you can see if you go over and click on this read more we'll get more idea about the information so let's debug this with uh, this thing so uh, for debugging this uh, 
what you need to do is like you need to go to debug session you can either do it with control shift b on the windows as i am on the windows machine right now and uh, so first thing you need to do is like add a configuration so here you can see like there is an option called add configuration so i already added the configuration so th there is nothing fancy now here you can see like the type is go and mod is debug and there are some port and host thing uh, this is like a pretty standard one seven dot uh, dot o dot o dot one which is a standard local host port so now let's directly run it so like select the launch and click on this play button so let's wait uh, for it to load the all the debug information uh, for the first time it will take slightly more time but after that like it will be pretty smooth here you can see now it's loaded so here you can see like it is providing me to continue uh, you can also step over with tap 10 or clicking on this you can step into also and here you can see like uh, you can see the variables is defined there and these are the global information right now we don't have it so now let's move to another step okay here you can see now now the hello world is updated with the actual value and now i'm going to another variable so here you can see like right now it is saying default value like 5141884 now if i uh, step uh, if, if i step uh, over like it will do uh, 10 so like this is a cool awesome functionality with uh, Visual Studio Code and like this debugging experience is great and uh, that is because of like this cool extension from Microsoft. So Microsoft is really doing great things in the open source community and I love Visual Studio Code uh, more and more. So thank you for watching this video. Uh, I am going to put lot many videos uh, there so keep watching and uh, please do subscribe to my channel like it gives me boost uh, to make more videos so please if you like this video please press the like button and do subscribe to my channel code with jv thank you